Hey everybody, Ben here from DMC Films. I'm back with some more tips for the intermediate artist. Now, if you see my video on stretching a canvas, this one's going to seem kind of backwards of that. We're unstretching a canvas today. Now, one thing that uh, you can do is once you've started accumulating a few canvases, and maybe you're not necessarily selling those, but you do kind of want to, you know, paint again, uh, you can actually reuse the, the stretcher bars without reusing the canvas, without painting over that. Now this is a painting that I did uh, back when I was in high school. And the cool thing about this piece is that uh, it was remarkably surreal and I, I still love it. I really do. Uh, kind of takes me back to the good old days of uh, you know, school. <laughs> Not really. So, uh, so I do want to keep this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the staples out of the back uh, and then just kind of roll it up and, and store it away. like Kind of like a scroll. So that's what we're going to do today. Now whether or not you stretch your own canvas like I did here or you just bought one from the store, you know, this technique really works all the same. Uh, really all you're doing is just forcing the staples out of the back. Now you're going to need two things, a screwdriver and a pair of uh, pliers, preferably needle nose pliers just because they're easier to get a grip on, something smaller than that. And uh, just kind of the reverse and backwards uh, section of how you stretch a canvas is you take the corners out first and then you work away, you work your way around. And, regard, and considering where you're working, uh, you don't want to, you know, be throwing your staple, staples all over the floor or something. You know, just kind of keep a track, keep track of where you're putting them and have a little pile. Now, the reason you need pliers is every now and then. Uh, when you can't just lift a, a one off with the screwdriver, they tend to get stuck. They only come out in uh, one one uh, side. So the thing with that is that you need to be able to have pliers to just pull those out. It's not every one is going to come out cleanly. Alright, so we got all the staples out, at least all the ones I can see anyway. And now we just kind of pr pretty much lift the canvas right off. Uh, if you do what I do and paint around the edges uh, of the piece, uh, one thing you notice is that the corners, a lot of them will kind of stick and have a little bit of sort of a, a glued edge on one of the sides. So you just want to gently pull up on that. Uh, don't want to unravel the canvas or anything like that. And after I lift up the corner, I see I got cut another staple under there, so I'm just going to lift that out. And that corner, just, just kind of ease it out. And granted, with the paint and the gesso, it you know, might stick a little bit. Just again, real easy. Lifting that off the edges. Oh, there's another staple. Probably one in this corner too that I forgot. And just like that, your stretch bars are out, and you can rewrap this and stretch a new canvas. Uh, for that, you know, just check out my canvas stretching video and you'll be all set. This goes to the side, we'll end up stretching this later. And the completed piece is still intact off of the canvas stretcher anyway. Now one of the cool things about uh, doing this is you can actually still frame this piece and keep it as, an, as a piece separate. What you want to do is take this so it's, it's jointed in two areas from where you stretch. You want to take this first joint uh, that's closest to the piece, cut along that edge, and you can actually put this in a poster frame uh, 
or anything that you can really squish it and lay it flat. That way you can still have it to uh, have, a, have it as a framed piece, but in the long run you can still keep the painting if you really, really do enjoy it. Now, at this point, I'm going to take it at a point where you're going to have the most tension. Usually this is uh, the longest direction if it's, if it's a square canvas, obviously. It doesn't really matter which direction you use. I'm going to roll inward, make sure the painting is in, not on the outside, in case anything damages it uh, from, from the outside when you're transporting it. Just roll it up. Now you can throw a rubber band around this, or uh, just, you know whatever you have laying around. I have uh, this roll of tape here. I highly doubt this will hold it very well, so I, I'd recommend actually getting uh, like a rubber band. That's just masking tape that doesn't really stick to canvas that well. like that. And that's pretty much it. An additional, an additional thing you can do to it that might make it a little useful is to put down uh, the title and you know, the year or you know, whatever you feel like putting on this one. So the title of this piece is Eden. And the year is 2008. And now it's complete and ready for storage. Now like I mentioned earlier, you know, so you just roll it up and stick it away. I've got a number of pieces down here, uh, all kinds of different uh, scrolls kind of sitting around, and uh, you know it's just old pieces that uh, you know that I still enjoy, but you know just kind of taking up space, kind of want to move on and do something else. So you just stick it up with the rest of them. And, you know, that's it for the day. Now I got two more announcements for you guys before we wrap this video up today. Uh, first is that I just recently hit 200 subscribers, and I just want to thank each and every one of you for that. The second is that my first edition Uprising prints will be available at the online shop in probably about a week. I'm working on cleaning up and doing a little more detail work. Uh, there will be ten of these available, uh, five colors, uh, two, co two of each of the colors. Uh, the, ce the central building in this one is yellow. There's also red, orange, blue, and green, and those will be available uh, pretty soon, so check that out. Uh, this is but uh, so for more so for more painting tips, uh, tutorials, time lapse videos, and films. Please stay here to the DMZ Films channel here on YouTube. See you guys next time.